Can you even find a home in Atlanta for a million dollars anymore? Well, I think we all know that a million dollars is not quite what it used to be, but yes, you can still find great houses in Atlanta for a million dollars. Today, I'm going to take you on a tour of five great Atlanta neighborhoods and show you what you can get for one million dollars. The first stop on our million dollar home tour is going to be in the lovely in-town city of Decatur. The city of Decatur is built around a classic downtown courthouse square filled with shops, restaurants, and great cultural activities. Okay, the first house we're going to look at is 307 Superior Avenue in Decatur. This is a great little neighborhood in Decatur. It's called the Great Lakes, and all of these streets are named after Great Lakes. So Superior, Huron, Erie. Uh, my wife and I, back in the mid-90s, lived right around the corner from here on Huron Street. Lovely little neighborhood. And this is a four-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath house. It's been updated, renovated. It's about 3,000 square feet. One interesting thing to note is that this is only on uh, two-tenths of an acre, which is a relatively small lot. And as you'll see here when we look at these first photos, uh, there is a driveway, but there is not a garage. So looking at the front of the house, you can see this is a really classic uh, Decatur brick bungalow. If you can imagine this house here, just this front without this little pop-up dormer, that's what the house would have originally looked like. So uh, they kept the roof line the same in the front, uh, but as you'll see as we go around the side, you can see that that roof line in the back has changed there. And uh, let's take a look. This originally would have been an open side porch as well. That would have been a screen porch. So what they've done is they've enclosed that and we'll see that again later. Let's take a quick look at the back of the house here. So you can see um, the back of the house. Again, you can see how that roof line has come out. It's a, a much, uh, much shallower pitch on that roof, so they were able to pop up and create a second story to expand the square footage. This house originally would have been around 1,000 square feet, so not a very big house at all. They've essentially tripled the square footage. Uh, they popped up in the back, and then they brought this room out um, off the back as well. This is what we'd call like for a ranch house kind of a sunroom. Um, great way to add square footage onto a house and pay attention to this fireplace because I'm going to show you more about that um, in just a second. So let's go back and here's the front. Let's take a look inside. Now this is the little uh, side porch that I said was enclosed and you can see the brick here and this was probably all screened in and they've done a really nice job of um, making that um, part of the interior space. This living room here looks pretty much exactly like it would have looked when this house was built in 1947. And if you look at this view here, this wall was almost certainly opened up at some point and you can see back through there's a room back here which is that room on the back of the house that I showed you. And I said, pay attention to that fireplace. That is the fireplace right there. And you can see that that room has a really nice high ceiling, very elegant, great way to add square footage onto the house. So this is what you're getting for a million dollars in Decatur, Georgia. Let's take a look at this kitchen. And the kitchen here, I want to point something out here, and uh, maybe I'm being picky because I'm married to a kitchen designer, but um, what's missing from this kitchen? Let's take a quick look here. What is missing from this kitchen? Tons of cabinet space, beautiful appliances. What is missing from this kitchen? I'll go ahead and tell you it's counter space. Look at this. I mean, can you imagine cooking dinner in here and you're kind of cooking on either, you know, prepare, prepping your food on either side of the sink here? There is not a lot of counter space. So that's kind of one uh, little negative there. And your million dollar home comes with zero counter space. Uh, nice looking master and master bathroom on the main level. This is a beautiful house. It's not, you know, unbelievably over the top. It's just a very nicely appointed home, uh, very elegant choice of fixtures. 
And this is the view upstairs. This is actually the back of the house. Um, so you come up the stairs, you're looking out the back window. And this is actually the view from the front of the house. If I, when I showed you the front of the house, there was a triple window across the front. So that's the view there. Nice looking bathrooms. Again, it's, you know, nothing unbelievably elegant, nothing uh, super luxurious or over the top, just a really nicely appointed house. Got a nice little beadboard wainscot there. Um, great little mud room. Here's a view of the back and you can see where you've got the brick from the original house and the siding, which is on the new addition. That's very common to um, mix those materials and just paint them the same color. Love this uh, gray blue on the door here. And nice view of the yard, really elegant patio. Um, it's a very nice piece of land. As I said, it's only two tenths of an acre, which is not humongous. And um, with these older homes in Decatur, you typically never had a garage. A lot of people when these houses were built didn't even own cars. So um, if you had a little bitty driveway that separated your house from the neighbor's house, that was about all you got. So there's no garage here. And there's another view of the back of the house. And that's what you get for a million dollars in Decatur. If you want to find out more about the city of Decatur, I've got several full-length videos, and I'll leave those linked in the box below. Our next million-dollar home is going to be in the city of Brookhaven. Uh, Brookhaven is a terrific community, actually one of the best in Atlanta. And I have a full-length video if you're interested in learning more about Brookhaven. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Let's check it out. Alrighty, our million dollar home in Brookhaven is at 2996 Skyland Drive. This closed just a few weeks ago. Um, this is a four bedroom, three bath house. It was actually built in 2012, so it's a little over 10 years old. And it sold for $950,000. I chose this one. It's a little bit under our million dollar price point, but I chose it because it's reasonably characteristic of the houses that are being built in Brookhaven and have been, uh, that builders have been building over there for the last 12 years since Brookhaven Incorporated. So this is a good example of the sort of modern farmhouse, um, almost modern craftsman style that you see over there a lot. Um, what you don't see in the new construction in Brookhaven is a lot of brick exterior. Um, obviously brick is very expensive. So you see a lot of houses like this that have siding and um, maybe some accents of cedar shake, something like that. Nice little walk up front porch. Um, great little, uh, again, modern farmhouse feel here with the, uh, the board siding on the ceiling and the nice built in bookcases. There's the dining room, sort of these grayish interiors that have gotten very popular where everything's kind of a, a tone of gray or beige. We call that grayish. Now let's look at the kitchen here. You know, I'm real big on kitchens because I'm married to a kitchen designer. Um, this is a little dated here. Uh, the doors aren't too bad. They're kind of the shaker style. Uh, this uh, microwave above the stove here, that's kind of beat. They don't really do that. People use the microwave as their vent hood, and then, yeah, that's just not how you do it. Um, also, got some kind of dated, sort of this Venetian gold, uh, you know, granite. This stuff kind of went out of style about 12 years ago. Here's the upstairs bathroom. Um, you know, again, for a million dollars, you're not getting like unbelievable luxury. This is uh, actually a, already a little dated here. You've got this travertine tile, which again was all the rage uh, 10 years ago or so and already kind of looks a little dated. Nice big master bathroom. Again, with the travertine surround around the uh, fireplace there. Ooh, we've got travertine overload going on here. Again, I think you can probably see it. It looks a little dated, and you know, these people are probably going to take this house and uh, 
you know, pull out that travertine, put some nice tile in there, uh, which is kind of crazy to think about that. You would pay a million dollars for a house in 2023 and then have to go in and update it. But, you know, this is the reality on the ground inside the perimeter in Atlanta. And quick look at the back deck. Very large deck, very nice. Great outdoor living space, nice big yard. That's a million dollars in Brookhaven. The next stop on our tour of million dollar homes in Atlanta is gonna be in the Sagamore Hills neighborhood of North Decatur. North Decatur is a community along the I-85 corridor, sort of in the northeast part of Atlanta, but still inside the perimeter. It's one of Atlanta's best kept secrets and still, I think, one of Atlanta's best values and just happens to be my home as well. So let's check it out. Okay, our North Decatur home is at 2010 Black Fox Drive. This is a six bedroom, five bath house sold for a little over a million dollars just a few months ago. And it's on a half an acre, very, very nice piece of land and it's 5,600 square feet. Big, big house, really big house. This is the exterior here. This is a three-story home. Quick jump into the kitchen. Very nice looking kitchen. Lots of counter space, lots of room to prep your food. And these sort of tray ceilings right here, um, this is kind of the style that you see a lot out in exurban Atlanta, like uh, Alpharetta, Cumming, and Milton. These very large houses um, with these tray ceilings, built-in bookcases. This is a great example of, of a home you see reasonably uh, often in North Decatur, but you see it quite often out in Alpharetta and Milton. Look at the main bathroom. This is the size of many people's homes. This thing is absolutely enormous. Again, you got the tray ceilings here. Um, beautiful tile, uh, really a lovely bathroom. Guest bedroom, another guest bedroom. This is a look at the upstairs landing. And here's where we start to get into the executive home features. You know, these are things like uh, uh, home gyms and um, home cinemas, movie theaters, things like that. Um, and this has plenty of them. Let me show you one neat little thing here. This home has its own built-in commercial bakery. It's actually licensed by DeKalb County. Um, the previous owners um, built it as to be used as a commercial kitchen, and it is in fact certified by DeKalb County. So if you're in the mood to let your confectionery skills run wild, this would be a fantastic home. And here's a look at the backyard. Again, it's on a half an acre. This is a huge home. And the fact that this sold for uh, just over a million dollars in the last few months, I think it's actually a tremendous value. I've seen a lot of renovated ranches, uh, renovated and expanded ranches um, in our neighborhood that have gone for close to a million dollars. So uh, for you know a 5,000 plus square foot home, million dollars seems like a pretty good value. So again, North Decatur is one of in-town Atlanta's best communities and kind of best kept secrets, like I said before. If you wanna find out more about North Decatur, of course, I've got several videos and I'll link those in the box below. The next stop on our Atlanta million dollar home tour is gonna to be Atlanta's famous Buckhead neighborhood, and I actually pulled the zip code 30305, which is the West Paces Ferry area, right around the Atlanta History Center, one of the most fantastic areas of Atlanta. Let's see what we can get for a million dollars there. It probably won't be as nice as the other ones we've seen. Okay, 3265 Argonne Drive, Northwest in Atlanta. As I said, this is the area right around the Atlanta History Center. Fabulous part of Atlanta, very historic. Um, this is a four bedroom, three bath house in fixer upper condition and it sold right at $1 million. So uh, the thing to know about a neighborhood like Buckhead is the, the dirt is worth a lot. The house might be a disaster, but people will pay a lot for the dirt. This says it clocks in at 36, 73 on the square footage and it's almost half an acre so a half an acre in Buckhead again 
it's worth a pretty penny. This is a brick ranch looking house that was built in 1952. So it's probably been um, updated and added on to over the years. Let's check out the inside. Entranceway doesn't look too horrible. Looks like a pretty standard ranch house. Oh my. Whew. That is quite a lot of hard pine paneling there. And wow, zero kitchen in this house. I mean, look at this. This uh, These are the original cabinets. They look like they were probably painted at some time, but I know a kitchen like this. I used to have a kitchen like this. And these are the original hardwood cabinets. Um, very sturdy, also kind of ugly. And here is the vintage tile bathroom. You're going to see this a lot in ranch houses uh, all over Atlanta. Um, if the tile's in good shape, it can be, you know, useful. You can paint the walls a nice color, update the, the fixtures and stuff. But, uh, you know, you spend a million dollars on a house, you sort of expect more bathroom than that. Here's the second bathroom, the Pink Panther Special. Quick look at the basement. So uh, it looks like somebody tried to finish this at some point and you know, it's, it's a little rough. An extra bathroom down there. You know, again, it's Buckhead. So you are paying top dollar for your house there. And again, this house, even if they had torn the house down, the lot alone was probably worth $850,000, $900,000. And the last stop on our tour of Million Dollar Atlanta Homes is gonna be in the city of Johns Creek. Johns Creek is a city located about 28 miles northeast of downtown Atlanta. Uh, it's a very well-run city with a very responsive government. Uh, it's very popular with the professional athletes in Atlanta because uh, there are at least two, I think maybe three country clubs up there. And what I'm gonna show you is a great example of the type of estate homes that are very common in Johns Creek. Let's check it out. All right, we're looking at 12175 Oak Hollow Way in Johns Creek. This house just sold for $995,000. Uh, it was built in 1994, so it's coming up on 30 years old. Uh, but it's on six-tenths of an acre. That's a big piece of land. And it is a 4,100 square foot house with uh, five bedrooms and five baths. So very, very big piece of property. And this is a pretty classic profile brick house. Uh, this is only three sides brick, so I'll show you here. The back side is siding. And this is another very common feature of these uh, Johns Creek estate type homes. Uh, you've got two-story interiors, very high, uh, what you call cathedral ceilings. And you'll see those throughout the house. Um, those aren't great for your electricity bills, especially in the winter because all the heat tends to rise up to the ceiling. Tray ceilings are another feature. We saw some of those in our North Decatur home. You see quite a lot of that in a Johns Creek house. Classic dining room. Now looking at the kitchen again, you see not a whole lot of counter space here. It's interesting to see million dollar homes that have kitchens where you're making a lot of compromises. This is one of them. This type of a kitchen counter with this sort of bat wing shape is not very efficient. Looking at the fixtures and the finishes in the bathrooms, again, it's not a super luxe house for a million dollars. It's just, you know, a big, well-built house on a very large piece of land in a good neighborhood with good schools, but you're not buying something that is, uh, you know, over the top luxurious at the million dollar price point. Master suite with the tray ceiling. Master bathroom with the double vanities. This is a good example of something you see quite often. I mentioned the cathedral ceilings. There's a lot of houses that have walkways. So you have these two story ceilings and then you have kind of these walkways that go from one bedroom to another where you're looking down into the open space. That's the view you're seeing here. And this is a three level house and they have what's called a terrace level. It's not a basement. It's actually a lower level. Um, the foundation was poured so that you would typically have at least a nine foot ceiling on that lower level. We call it the terrace level. You get a lot of dedicated spaces like your media room, game room, bathrooms and bedrooms. It makes it very functional. So taking a look at the outside, you can see the private swimming pool. 
the deck, and you can see the size of this lot. Um, this is six tenths of an acre, which in square feet terms is 26,000 square feet. So that gives you a pretty good idea of how big this lot is. You're gonna get a, a tremendous amount of privacy. If you need social distance, this is the place you wanna live. Remember, Atlanta is a huge metropolitan area and you could find a million dollar home pretty much anywhere you look. The important thing to remember is that a million dollars in Buckhead is basically the price of entry. You're gonna spend almost that much money on a lot. Whereas in a community like North Decatur, still inside the perimeter, you're gonna be able to buy one of the nicest homes in that neighborhood. So if you've got a million dollars and you wanna buy a house in Atlanta, or if you've got half that or third that, it doesn't matter, feel free to reach out. My contact information is in the box below. Love to talk to you. Thanks for watching.